If you haven't already tried this, try holding the ring and then pulling the magnet through. When you've tried that one, there are the other rings to try as well. Remember the split ring experiment? When we move the magnet slowly, the ring just moves a little bit. When we moved it quickly, it moved a lot more. Can you explain this? Here's a fun little game. Can you or your friends move the magnet through the ring without it moving? Now, remember, not the plastic one has to be the metal ring. Ah! When you're investigating the solid ring, I hope you tried the ring in a few different positions in relation to the magnet. Let's start with the ring in the centre of the magnet and see what happens when I move the magnet fairly quickly. Now, let's try a little bit further out. Now, let's try it a little bit further out again. What do you think will happen this time? Now if you have a sensitive oscilloscope, or even a data logger, you can try this. Remember back to our previous experiment where we used a ring with a split in it. When I put it onto the tube, and move the magnet through the ring, it moved just a little bit. Now what we can do with our sensitive measuring equipment is to measure the potential difference across the split in the ring. Right, there we have an interesting graph. Now I'll leave the analysis of this for you. And you can also try a few little other little experiments at the same time. Now another experiment you might wish to try is what will happen to the solid ring. Now remember, it moved when I pulled the magnet through the ring. What you can try is to measure the potential difference across two points on the ring when the magnet is moved through it. Another experiment you could try is to use a much larger ring. And in the same way, measure the potential difference across two points. Now, in your analysis and your predictions, you should remember that these rings all have a little bit of resistance. 